What it do, home skillet biscuits? You've been waiting all week for this. I have two. It's Saturday, and today we're talking about what people did and did not wear to Coachella. So, let's get into it. Now, I did not go to Coachella this year. Why? Because it's too hot, and I don't like people. Okay, I like people, but that's too many damn people. The only person that can get me to stand on my feet for hours at a time in the heat with no bathroom breaks and little to no snacks is the one and the only Beyonce Giselle Knows Carter. Nobody else. Mm -mm. Not even my mama. Now, while we are on the topic, can we just take a moment of celebration to celebrate the fact that Beyonce's new film, Homecoming, is officially out on Netflix. Come on, everybody, clap. Mm. I said clap. Ooh, y'all better show some respect for the queen. But back to Coachella. Personally, I found it actually extremely difficult shopping for Coachella last year because everybody's either half naked or full out naked. No in between. So it's basically pride. Baby, the gays are thriving. <laughs> but every now and then, you have some really good fashionable moments like these. Now see, that's how you dress according to theme. But like every costume party, you have those that just do what they want to do. So we're going to play a little game of Kaylin's Rapid Reactions. Here we go. Tragic. Now you know good and well that ain't nothing but a heat stroke. Is that comfortable? It can't be. Girl, no, you lie. Now you, that is too much friction. Oh, she gonna start a fire. You got on too many clothes, there's too many layers. Uh-uh, you knew it was gonna be hot, you didn't check the weather? Oh, you nasty, he ain't got no damn shoes on. Mm, he gonna get athlete's foot, okay? I'm telling you from now, <laughs> you gonna be at the podiatry the next day. Moo, your friends didn't tell you where you was going cause you know good and well you wouldn't go into no Kids' Choice Awards. Why you out here looking like Nickelodeon Sly? <laughs> this ain't it, baby, this the wrong party. They sell that in stores. Where they sell that at? Baby, they sure don't sell that even at the Goodwill. Lies you tell. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't see it. Mm -mm. Not in my near future. Child, please. The gay is gone wild. <laughs> this ain't pride. You ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> okay. Now, maybe I could pull it off. Okay, now there's actually an outfit that I want to talk about because I actually felt like it was actually according to theme. Why do I say actually so much? Nonetheless, let's keep it moving. Okay, so first we got this Tiana Taylor. Now the reason why I like this, even though she dressed in a wrestler's outfit, is that she ain't got no makeup on. And let me tell you why that's smart. It's because if you've ever been to Coachella, baby, it is dusty and you're in the middle of the desert. That's not cute for makeup foundation, baby. You're gonna get all them sand particles stuck on your face. That's not cute, okay? So she decided, I'm gonna go fresh face and I'm gonna let my skin breathe out here in this heat. Smart choice, Tiana. I applaud you. Nancy Pelosi. Okay, now I actually wanted to pull this out because this is actually a look, okay? I would see this outfit at Fashion Week. I love it. Them shoes, though, I've been to Coachella and I had on flat shoes. And baby, I couldn't feel my feet by the end of the day. Baby, your feet gonna be on fire. Oh my God, girl, you can't be wearing no heels there. Well, now you know what not to wear according to me. So once again, look at me doing the good work of the Lord. You can thank me later. I'll send an invoice. Now, before we go, I really need y'all to watch this video of this kid by the name of Noah Cottrell impersonating me in his acting class. Y'all, I am literally obsessed. Yeah. That one the fruit review video. And today we're gonna be doing some mac and cheese. Oh, I don't want that bunny and Brussels sprouts up in there. Oh, the black lady back. Oh, it's in the black lady back. Nice tail. Nice tail, honey. Oh, Noah. You are literally a freaking star. I have literally never seen an impersonation so well done as me. You are a star, keep on pushing, keep on doing you, cause I respect it, okay? I respect talent when I see it, let me tell you. Okay, but anyway, I'll see y'all next week. Peace and blessings, happy Saturday, everybody.